welcome you in the lecture series of basics of communication engineering it is tutorial third based on lectures fifth sixth and seventh now question first is a sinusoidal carrier signal of 5 volt peak amplitude and 100 kilohertz frequency is amplitude modulated by 5 kilohertz signal of peak amplitude of uh, 3 volt what is the modulation index and draw the two sideband spectrum of the modulated signal here the carrier having the peak amplitude 5 volt and frequency 100 kilohertz this is am and this is fc and baseband signal having uh, frequency 5 kilohertz and amplitude is 3 volt you know the modulated am signal is represented as xct it is a 1 plus m cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 pi fct and here ac is 5 1 plus m xt cos 2 pi fct here xt is cos 2 pi fmt or we can write it as 5 cos 2 pi fct plus 5 m xc cos 2 pi fct and here ac uh, as you know ac is 5 volt and am is 3 volt so you know the modulation index can be represented as am by ac so it is 3 by 5 or you can say 0. 0.6 the modulation index is 0. 0.6 and here fc plus fm the frequency of upper sideband it will be fc plus fm it is 100 plus 5 105 kilohertz and so we can sketch the spectrum of am signal fc is 100 kilohertz and fc plus fm 105 kilohertz fc minus fm it is 95 kilohertz and in the other side minus fc is minus 100 kilohertz and minus fc minus fm it is minus 95 kilohertz and minus fc plus fm it is minus 105 kilohertz it is upper sideband and this is lower sideband and you can see the amplitude is also half of the uh, this at zero at frequency zero magnitude and or you can say half of uh, in the fre central frequency fc the central frequency the magnitude of central frequency 1.5 so magnitude uh, for the lower sideband and upper sideband it will be uh, 1.5 by 2 or you can say 0. 0.75 the magnitude for the lower sideband and upper sideband is this and magnitude for the carrier frequency it is m m ac by 2 1.5 so this is the spectrum of the am signal now another question is a, a modulated signal has frequency spectrum as in figure draw the frequency spectrum of am wave if the carrier frequency is fc here you can see this is the spectrum of the modulated signal when i am going to modulate uh, the signal with frequency fc this uh, frequency is spectrum is shifted to the left and right side means two side bands will be there of this uh, signal spectrum and center with a frequency uh, fc rather than the frequency zero so we will have the upper sideband and lower sideband so th if this is the spectrum this spectrum is shifted in these two sides upper sideband and lower sidebands these are centered by fc and minus fc so this is the spectrum of am signal when the spectrum of the modulating signal is given now question third a modulating signal xt is equal to 10 cos 2 pi into 10 is to the power 3t is amplitude modulated with a carrier signal ct 50 cos 2 pi into 10 is to the power 5t find the modulation index the carrier power and the power required for transmitting am wave what is the bandwidth of the modulated signal so the equation of the modulating signal xt here 
it is 10 cos 2 pi into 10 is to the power 3 t you know the modulating the modulating signal xt is am cos 2 pi fm t so from here am is 10 volt and fm is 10 is to the power 3 hertz or you can say 2 pi into 10 is to the power 3 t so uh, fm is 10 is to the power 3 hertz or you can say 1 kilo hertz and the equation of the carrier it is given ct it is 50 cos 2 pi into 10 is to the power 5 t and you know ct is ac cos 2 pi fct so from here we will have ac is 50 volts and fc is 10 is to the power 5 hertz or you can say 100 kilohertz now the modulation index you know the modulation index it is am by ac so modulation index will be 10 by 50 or 0 0.2 so the modulation index is 0.2 or in percentage form you can say it is 20 percent modulation index now the carrier power because we require the transmitted power of am signal so we have to calculate the carrier power and the sideband powers so uh, total we want to uh, calculate the transmit power and you know the transmit power it is the uh, formula is carrier power 1 plus m square by 2 so first of all will calculate the carrier power pc you know carrier power pc is 1 by 2 ac square or you can say it is 1 by 2 50 square and it will be 12550 watt so the trans uh, the power required for transmitting am wave pt it will be 1250 watts 1 plus modulation index is 0.2 and we will get the transmitted power is 1275 watts now bandwidth of the modulated signal you know the bandwidth of the modulated signal will be equal to two times the bandwidth of the uh, modulating signal and the bandwidth of the modulating signal and the highest frequency component fm so it is bandwidth is 2 fm and it is 2 into 1 kilohertz so the bandwidth requirement is 2 kilohertz this is two times the bandwidth of the modulating signal now next question a modulating signal 10 sine 2 pi into 10 is to the power 3 is used to modulate a carrier signal 20 sine 2 pi 10 is to the power 14 find the modulation index percentage modulation frequency of sideband components and their amplitudes and what is the bandwidth for the modulated signal you know the modulating signal xt is 10 sine 2 pi 10 is to the power 3 you know the equation for the modulating signal is am sine 2 pi fmt so from here am is 10 volts and fm is 10 is to the power 3 or you can say 1 kilo kilohertz and the carrier ct it is 20 sine 2 pi 10 is to the power 40 because ct you know ac sine 2 2 pi fmt so here we have ac is 20 volts and fc is 10 is to the power 4 hertz or you can say it is 10 kilohertz you want to find out the modulation index you know the modulation index m is am by ac or you can say 10 by 20 so it will be uh, 0 0.5 or in percentage form the modulation index is 50 percent and the frequency of upper sideband frequencies of uh, the sidebands components so frequency of upper sideband you know uh, it will be 
एफ सी प्लस एफ एम फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ अपर साइड बैंड इट इज टेन प्लस वन और इलेवन किलो हर्ट्स एंड फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ लोअर साइड बैंड इट विल बी एफ सी माइनस एफ एम टेन माइनस वन नाइन किलो किलो हर्ट्स एंड द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ ईच साइड बैंड यू नो इट विल बी इक्वल टू एम ए सी बाई टू एंड इट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बाई टू और यू कैन से फाइव वॉल्ट एंड बैंड विथ इट विल बी टू इंटू एफ एम और यू कैन से टू किलो हर्ट्स नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए टेन किलो वाट्स करियर वेव इज एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडुलेटेड एट एट्टी परसेंट डेप्थ ऑफ मॉडुलेशन बाई ए साइनासोडल मॉडुलेटिंग सिग्नल कैलकुलेट द साइड बैंड पावर टोटल पावर एंड द ट्रांसमिशन एफिशियंसी ऑफ द ए एम वेव सो हियर वी नो द साइड बैंड पावर यू नो द साइड बैंड पावर पी एस यू एस बी अपर साइड बैंड एंड पी लोअर साइड बैंड दीज आर सेम एंड दीज आर इक्वल टू एम स्क्वायर बाई फोर पी सी एंड एम स्क्वायर एम इज गिवन एट्टी परसेंट एम इज एट्टी परसेंट और यू कैन से इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट एट सो इट इज जीरो पॉइंट एट बाई फोर एंड पी सी ट्रांसमिटेड पावर करियर पावर सो इट दिस द करियर पावर इज गिवन टेन किलो वाट सो इट इज टेन किलो वाट एंड इट विल बी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स किलो वाट सो द पावर इन अपर साइड बैंड एंड लोअर साइड बैंड विल बी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स किलो वाट सो द टोटल साइड बैंड पावर टोटल साइड बैंड पावर इट विल बी वन पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस सिक्स प्लस वन पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री पॉइंट टू किलो वाट इट इज द टोटल साइड बैंड पावर इन अपर साइड बैंड एंड लोअर साइड बैंड सो द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज टू साइड बैंड पावर इट इज थ्री पॉइंट टू किलो वाट एंड द टोटल पावर पावर पी टी यू नो इट विल बी द पावर ऑफ द करियर एंड पावर इन द अपर द अपर साइड बैंड एंड पावर इन द लोअर साइड बैंड सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू टेन प्लस वन पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस वन पॉइंट सिक्स सो इट इज थर्टीन पॉइंट टू किलो वाट टोटल ट्रांसमिटेड पावर इज थर्टीन पॉइंट टू किलो वाट एंड ट्रांसमिशन एफिशियंसी ईटा यू नो द फॉर्मूला इज एम स्क्वेयर बाई टू प्लस एम दिस इज द ट्रांसमिशन एफिशियंसी इन परसेंटेज फॉर्म इट इज इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट सो एम स्क्वेयर इज जीरो पॉइंट एट होल स्क्वेयर बाई टू प्लस एम स्क्वेयर जीरो पॉइंट एट स्क्वेयर इन टू हंड्रेड सो यू विल गेट इट इज so the transmission efficiency is 24.24% now next question a transmitter radiates 10 kilowatt power with the carrier unmodulated and 10.5 kilowatt when the carrier is modulated by one sinusoidal signal calculate the modulation index If the another modulating signal corresponds to thirty percent, modulating is tra modulation is transmitted simultaneously. Determine the total radiated power. So here, power of the carrier is ten kilowatt, and transmitted power is ten point five kilowatt, and you have to find out the modulation index here. so in the first case if i consider m1 is the modulation index i want to find out this modulation and you know the relation between transmit power and carrier power is pt is equal to pc this is total power it is uh, the carrier power 1 plus m1 square by 2 and it will be 10 kilowatt 1 plus m1 square by 2 and this is given 10.5 So ten point five it will be equal to ten one plus m one square by two. So from here you can find out one plus m one square by two. It will be equal to ten point five by ten. 
or from here you can calculate m1 square it will be 0 0.10 or you can say m1 it is 0 0.32 so modulation index in this case it is 0 0.32 now if another modulating uh, signal is transmitted simultaneously with a modulation index 30 percent so if uh, the, there is m1 we have calculated is 0 0.32 and m2 is given 30 percent 30 percent means 0 0.3 so we have two modulation index so total modulation index or effective modulation index it will be 0 0.32 whole square plus 0 0.3 whole square under root of this so total modulation index it will be 0 0.44 now this is the total modulation index now in this case we want to find out the total radiated power so you know the radiated or transmitted power it it is pt uh, pc 1 plus m square by 2 or you can say here mt square by 2 total modulation index so it will be 10 1 plus 0 0.44 whole square by 2 and it will be 10.986 kilowatt so now if uh, i'm going to transmit uh, the first case uh, for the first case when the carrier power is 10 kilowatt and uh, the modulation index is 0 0.32 then there is transmitted power or radiated power is 10.5 kilowatt but if I am going to introduce another modulating signal with the, with the modulation index 0.3, then the transmitted power, it will be 10.986 kilowatt rather than 10.5 kilowatt. Now, another question, an AM voltage signal ST with a carrier frequency of 1.15 gigahertz has a complex envelope GT AC 1 plus MT. AC is 500 volts and the modula modulating signal is a 1 kilohertz sinusoidal test tone described by MT is equal to 0 0.8 sine 2 pi into 10 is to the power 3T appear across 50 ohm resistive load what is the actual power dissipated in the load no you know here ac peak peak amplitude of the carrier is 500 volt and fm is 1 kilohertz this is given 1 kilohertz you know if there is amplitude modulated signal and this is am signal and the envelope of this am signal this is the envelope of am signal and this is uh, represented as ac1 plus mxt here the envelope is given as gt equal to ac1 plus mxt mt this is given ac mt so this and here mt is 0.8 sine 2 pi 10 is to the power 3 t so it will be ac is given 500 1 plus mt is 0 0.8 sine 2 pi into 10 is to the power 3t so if i compare uh, this equation with the envelope of the am signal we can have m is 0 0.8 this is xt and this m so modulation index is 0 0.8 and the resistive load it is given 50 ohm so the total ac total actual power dissipated in the load you know the power dissipated in the load pt it will be ac square by 2 rl 1 plus m square by 2 here ac square by 2 rl it is pc power in the carrier and ac is given 500 and rl is uh, 50 so it is 500 square by 100 and 1 plus 0 0.8 square by 2 so from here you can calculate it will be equal to 3300 watt or you can say 3.3 kilowatt so the actual power dissipated in the load it is 3.3 kilowatt 
now next question prove that in am maximum average power transmitted by an antenna is 1.5 times the carrier power if i consider pc here is the unmodulated carrier power and pt is the transmitted am power this is transmitted am power and m is the modulation index and you know pt is equal to pc 1 plus m square plus m square by 2 so the maximum average power trans transmission takes place so maximum transmission will be if here m is equal to 1 so if m is equal to 1 we can have pt will be p will be pc 1 plus 1 by 2 so from here you can have the maximum transmitted power it is 1.5 into pc 1.5 times the power of the unmodulated carrier wave now next question if all am broadcasting stations handle audio frequencies of up to 5 kilohertz how many broadcasting stations can be accommodated from 1 megahertz to 1.5 megahertz of medium wave band so we know that the bandwidth occupied by an am signal is equal to twice the highest audio frequency in its modulating signal so bandwidth available is here we can have bandwidth available it is 1.5 minus 1 it is 0 0.5 megahertz and or you can have it is 500 kilohertz hertz because it is occupied from 1 megahertz to 1.5 megahertz so bandwidth 1.5 minus 1 it is 500 kilohertz and the bandwidth required for each station it is you know 5 kilohertz for each station so bandwidth required by each station it is 5 kilohertz and if uh, it will be 2 into 5 kilohertz 2 into the frequency in the modulating signal so it will and it is 5 kilohertz so bandwidth requirement by each station it will be 2 into 5 10 kilohertz so 10 kilohertz bandwidth will be required by each station because uh, they are handling audio frequency up to 5 kilohertz so the the highest frequency component in the modulating or baseband signal is 5 kilohertz so the bandwidth will be that bandwidth of am signal will be 2 into bandwidth of the highest frequency component of the baseband signal so it is 2 into 5 kilohertz 10 kilohertz so the number of station can be accumulated the available bandwidth is 500 kilohertz and each band each station require 10 kilohertz bandwidth so there are total 50 station can be accumulated in this 500 kilohertz bandwidth range now next question it is found that radio transmitter is radiating a total power of 100 kilowatt when the modulate modulation index is 0.8 what is the carrier power being radiated by the transmitter and what is the sideband power you know the pt the transmitted power or radiated power it is pc 1 plus m square by 2 and the total transmitted power it is given 100 kilowatts or you can say 100 into 10 is power 3 power 3 so it is pc 1 plus modulation index 0 0.8 plus modulation index 0 0.8 is given 8 is given so we can write it as pc 1 plus 0 0.64 by 2 and so i can calculate pc from here it is 100 into 10 is to the power 3 by 1.32 or it will be equal to 75.8 kilowatt so the carrier power being radiated is 75.8 kilowatt and the total sideband power because total transmitted power is this and carrier power is this and side uh, you know total transmitted power it is the carrier power and sideband powers upper sideband and lower sideband so total sideband power total sideband power it will be equal to 100 minus 75.8 so it will be equal to 24.2 kilowatt so total power 
in two in side band double side in upper side band and lower side band combinedly total side band power is 24.2 kilowatt and the power in the carrier it is 75.8 kilowatt and total transmitted power is 100 kilowatt so this is the end of a tutorial third in the next lecture we will discuss about generation of am signals till then thank you